Well, the transport is all patched up and we've taken on fuel and supplies. I can have you up to Grumheim in no time. Do you wish to travel to the Imperial City? Yeah. Imperial Camp. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't spend my stat points. How embarrassing. The alchemist hastens to the clockwork core. That is... And carries with him Ordrock's heart. E. It blazes with the power of the guardians. Enough to destroy the core itself. That's a cool looking train. Should he succeed, the devastation will be unimaginable. So far, we've done nothing to stop the dude. We just kind of cleaned up the mess. Oh, that's a bad parking job, guys. <laughs> what are you doing here? Act three, after the alchemist. Seek out Professor Stoker. All right, I can do that. Who are these guys? Vanquisher guards, yeah, they look familiar. Commander Bell. Hey, guy. Working on some swords. That's cool. I do want to tell you, before we activate this next quest... This is the button I'm looking for. I did notice I had some spells, and I went ahead and activated Barter. Rank 3, so that sounds good. 9% improvement in vendor prices. Uh, elemental Protection. This is a spell. I have to use it. But, I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It lasts for a minute, so if I know I'm gonna hit into a boss battle, it'd be worth activating. Look at this guy here. He looks amazing, and he's got a crown. Was he like in charge of the other robots? I don't know. Let's talk to Professor Stoker. You know, I'm just glad that for once one of these dudes got a name that I can pronounce correctly. <laughs> of course, at this time, everybody's saying, Stoker? No, it's it's Stoker. I wish you'd Who gotten knows? here sooner. The alchemist came through here about an hour so ago. So do I. He made ways to the camp, and then he went through the great door there. The great door. It shut behind him. <laughs> we believe that door leads to the clockwork. Of course core. it does. We haven't been able to open it ourselves, but we know how. In theory, yes, Professor. See that dwarven automaton? It's designed to open the door. But it's missing its power. We get to fix it. Should be one in the scrap works, but it was too dangerous for us to enter. Perhaps you will have more luck. Luck's got nothing to do with it, Buster Brown. Professor you have a new Brown. Quest. Or Stoker Brown. Some assembly required. That's awesome. Alright, let's look around this town a little bit. There's some cool stuff here. Got a fishing hole, that's not that cool. Got some trees. Got a little cart over here. We already saw these dudes. Is this the big gate? Because if that's the big gate, that's dumb. You could just squeeze through the bars. Guys, come on. Think about it. Sprocket. Anciently watches over his cousins. Oh, it's a whole little raccoon family. That's cool. And if I help him, then maybe they'll help me. Oh, you're not gonna give me a voice for him? <sighs> Alright. Here we go. Oh, please. Perhaps you can help us. Uh, on the advice of the villagers. Healer, we have traveled here seeking a cure. My cousins are afflicted with the black blindness, an ailment particular to our race. The only known treatment is produced from the flesh of the blue botas, a species of man that grows only in the fungal caves near here. I find that they are uh, bigger than I had anticipated. However, perhaps you could retrieve some blue botas flesh for us. We will be forever in your debt. What are you going to give me? <laughs> Another weapon I can't equip that's better than what I have. Yeah, yeah, let's say yes. <laughs> You have received a I quest. certainly have. Why did my crackle just grow up? Oh, because he transformed back into crackle. I get it. I get it. Let's see. Let's help these dudes out this episode. I have a feeling that they're going to 
be able to help me out. Level 36 to 37. I guess both quests are in the same direction. And I really need to spend those skill points. It said press J for something. Oh, yeah. Here's the Here's the deep statistics. This is like if you really want to nerd out. This is a way you can equip another weapon and it will tell you everything accounted for. All the extra little enchantments and enhancements. And honestly, I wish there was just a way to see that all totaled up here. Like maybe list all the stuff like it does, but then have a summary that includes everything together. I don't think it does that for everything, so that's a little saddening. Uh, I have been increasing dexterity just a little bit here and there to get my crit up. Because with my crit, uh, things just work a lot better. Some assembly required the blue whatever. It's a flower. We're just going to call it a flower. Look at the little... What is that? It's so weird, the, the detail that they... Yeah, I lost it. It's just a little floating seed. <laughs> I caught it in half. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I love that we're in a new area. We get to see some new creatures. Like the Micon Brute, which, oh my gosh, what the heck. By the way, I learned that stuff raining down that's caused by me. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it benefits me and that's fungal vent. What are you? You looked really interesting actually. Splinter Wraith. I'm gonna try to get some zoomed in views of any creatures that look interesting. Little bats. I got a funny, funny thing with bats. In Minecraft, of course, bats cannot hurt you. I played a game a little. It's been a while back now. And of course, I'm not going to be able to recall the title. There's bats in there, and I, I commented, hey, how come those bats aren't nice? Bats are supposed to be nice. Yikes. This guy. How did you get in the ground, let alone out of the ground? And now I'm playing a mod pack put together by a dual get called Modesty. And there are keys in there <laughs> from Zelda. And they are so bad, especially with uh, some other mod that kind of randomizes the, the bad guys and gives them extra power that they don't need to have. Let's enter the cave. And so I'm learning to fear bats from that mod pack. So I see these bats and I'm kind of like, ah! But also even in Minecraft where bats can't hurt you, I kind of have the urge to kill them now. It's really bad. They, they're peaceful mobs. Ah, don't blow up on me! Yeah, I'm not buying it. There ain't no way. Bugs. I don't like bugs. Whoa! Whoa! Yikes! What is going on there? Sprinkle sparkle rainbow attack. That's what just happened. Ice hammer. Pleasure to meet you, sir. How you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to swing my, my what's it, and I got my mana. I don't think I want to put more points into mana, though. I don't think it would be worth it. There we go. I'm in everybody dies mode. Bye, guys. Bye, suckers. What are these guys? Like little mushroom people? Oh my gosh, they look really creepy. Health potion, health potion.
Health potion, health potion. Item that probably isn't any good, but we'll grab it just in case. Oh, what are these dudes? This cross between a mushroom and an infection. Heal. Heal him back off. Come here. <laughs> You're laughing at me. You're a sucker. Yeah, it's just... There's no one to drop, okay? Alright. This is most likely some kind of boss chamber. Ew, gross. Can I avoid these things? Yeah, I guess I can. Duck dodge weave. It's kind of cool that you can. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ah. I'll pay the gold. Oh, apparently <laughs> entrance to this area is over here. Fine. One more time with feeling. This time without death, or as much death. Key on the one and two button. <laughs> this bungle Ben out of here. Okay, I should have cleared out the other dudes first. Oh, oh gosh. They told me to pick a mushroom. I wasn't supposed to defeat a giant. Oh no, get out of that circle thing. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Oh, he is doing the poison dance. That's what he's doing. Okay. I'm trying to do this skillfully. And not walk into these purple things. Man, he's got all the characters of the Mushroom Kingdom sitting here helping him out. Well, ain't that nice for him. Yeah, here we go. Rage. Throw a potion. We're getting a lot of critical hits. I'm healing. Sucker. Oh, there we go. Back to normal. Got to watch my health gauge here. I'm raining down poison on him. Oh, sucker. I didn't even realize how quick he was dying. Your pet has fled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yikes. Yeah, so, uh, word to the wise. Oh my gosh, please don't die here. I just defeated the big baddie. These guys are just, well, they're brutes. What can I say? That's what they're called. That's what they are. Problem is, I'm getting hit from like 50 angles at once. There's some special friends all around. Please just die. Falzalar. Those wood wraiths. Got a bunch of creatures that make creatures. Down the health potion. Punch this guy in the face. I'm almost raged. Come on, you're going down. No. Yeah, thanks for the, the rage at the very end when it's the most useless. 12 gauge, health potion. Let's go around real quick, make sure we don't miss nothing. Ooh, that was cool. The little gears on the side were spinning. That's my new favorite kind of chest, ornate chest. And not just because it probably has more rare items. Because it didn't really seem to, honestly. Alright, let's head back to town. Hey, Sprocket. <laughs> but bolts and gears, you found it. The flesh of the blue... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, thank you ever so much. We should be able to brew a cure for the illness soon. My cousins are saved. Please take this for your efforts, friend. What do we want? Another amazing weapon that I can't use. 
Uh, some cool physical armor that I cannot use. Uh, 43 physical. Uh, what sells for the most? We'll just grab the other weapon. Quest completed. I thought for sure they'd help me. Maybe it's a time thing. Maybe I'll let some time pass. Sprocket, widget, and cam. Because the raccoon creatures are the ones that will do enchanting and... Uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe... I don't know. I was hoping they'd do something for me. That was selfish, wasn't it? I did it for a selfish reason. That's what happens. I've already enchanted all my things. At least uh, one, one enchantment at least on each item. I avoid, come on. I avoided uh, putting two enchantments because it costs more, obviously. I wanted to get at least you one thing on everything. So 13, no, 5% pet and minion damage, seven per seven, just seven physical. Yeah, whatever. The details, man. There's so many details in this game. Not just not just the details of the characters, but the details of the items, what they have on them. It's it's crazy. A lot of it I just don't look too deeply into because I would go crazy. Look at the horse. Let's ride the horse. That's so cool. I didn't even notice. And they're by these guys' tent. Are these their horses? They only need two. <laughs> Maybe they should pull their carriage. I don't know. Maybe it's not theirs. Did I want to put something away? Yes, I do. But I can do this all off camera. I was just, I was really expecting them to give me something. I am such a selfish person. <laughs> All right, viewers, that'll do it for this episode. Next episode, we will go gather some parts to put together this amazing looking robot, which we now know as Dwarven, which is also cool. And he will open, oh, here's the door. He'll be able to open this door for us so that we can once again chase after the alchemist who will once again be way ahead of us. What are you gonna do? You know what I mean? What are you gonna do? This has been B Ran and Crackle. We will see you next video. Have a great day. And please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.